Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Samurai Sentai Shinkenger Shinken Maru and Hidden Disc Buckle Set thing. Um, I got this from the Overstock sale at CS Toys for a, a nice price. I can't remember what I paid for it. It was like 20 something. But um, anyway, really nice price. Um, shipping, I don't have the box because I wanted sell shipping and it can only be sent to EMS or Surface. And, um, and so I decided to ask them to, um, take it out of the box, wrap up the little pieces, and send it by cell, which was doable. So I did that, hence I don't have a box. Um, before we take a look at the items, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the discs. It comes with, uh, this one. Nice clear black, and then the, uh, Shishi Origami disc, which is a nice clear red. I love this disc. So let's go ahead and, uh, pop it into the Inromaru. Just to hear what they say. Zangigi disku. This is the basically the basic slashing attack disc. Then the shishi disc. Alright, and uh, we'll get into that a little bit more later. So let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this. Let me pop the Shinken Mara off. It fits right through this uh, this little opening right here. It just slides right in. Um, the buckle is basically exactly like the Gosei card buckle. Um, in fact, it's the same exact belt, uh, just with a new buckle and this kind of holster. Uh, it can open up, insert a disc in, close it up if you want the disc, pop it open, take it out. Simple as that, um, really nothing else to go into. It looks really shiny, it's bright, just like the Gose card buckle. Um, and I, I like it, I, would, I, mean, I wouldn't mod it to wear it or anything, but uh, it does look nice on the display. But uh, the real gem is the, the Shinken Maru. Um, it, it's very small. Um, it's that tall. Uh, so it's really, really short. A majority of it is the handle and the spinning thing. Uh, so it's kind of more like a, a Shinken uh, Tanto or something. But um, the, the spinning right here is really nice. So let me see if I can uh, show it off with the, uh, with the Shishi disc. So you can see the Shishi running. Depending on how fast you spin it. So that's a really, really cool feature. I like it a lot. Um, it's fun to kind of like put the discs in and see what uh, see what they make when you spin it. This one kind of looks like he's spazzing out. Uh, so anyway, that's about all for the Shinken Maru. So let's just turn it on. Switch right here. It does take two AAA batteries. So you get a... Uh, two different slashing noises. And then uh, the spinning noise. And you can spin it faster. And you get that noise, uh, which is basically a random animal. So that was that was either Shishi or Kuma. I don't really know. I mean, obviously that first one was Saru. So it does go through all the main five origamis um, randomly. So I won't go through them all because... Oh, shut up. I won't go through them all because it would take too long. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, go on to the next bit. So um, the Inromaru Hidden Disku. Yeah, I know. Um, so the Inromaru attaches to the Shinken Maru just like uh, it normally would. Hidden, yeah, I get it. So you just attach it right here. Come on. Shut up. Attach it right here, and then just like that, you'll get that noise from the Inromaru. And uh, basically what it does is that there's these little lumps up here. And as you spin it, it will continuously press down that uh, that white, or not white, that uh, clear button right there. And it'll activate the hidden noise for whatever disc you put in. 
So let's go go ahead and put in the uh, the the super disc. Put in the super disc right here. And then just keep spinning this, and you'll get a noise from the Inro Maru as well as the Shinken Maru. Now let me turn the Shinken Maru off just so uh, the Shinken Maru sound doesn't overbear the uh, the Inro Maru. Uh, it just plays the normal transformation music. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Shishi. Yeah. Pretty cool sound. Um, that's just a standard in Romaru sound. Um, and then lastly, let's go ahead and do the. Uh, do this disc right here. Uh, I kind of need something to help spin this with, so she she it is. Yay! All right, so um, that's about all. If you want to hear some other uh, discs with the Inro Maru and the button press. Um, I do it in the Inro Maru review. Um, without the Shinken Maru, I just press the button a couple times and it works. Um, so check those out if uh, you want to hear some other hidden disc noises with uh, this this feature. Uh, but overall, I really like the Shinken Maru despite its kind of crappy size to release the Inro Maru. Just go like that. Uh, despite the crappy size, I still really, really like the, uh, the Inro Maru. Or the Shinken Maru, I'm sorry. Uh, and I recommend it if you can get it for a cheap price, uh, particularly if you have the, yes, I get it, <sighs> particularly if you have the, uh, the Inro Maru and the Mogi Bazooka too, and uh, I'll cover that in my Mogi Bazooka review, which should be up tomorrow. Um, so I recommend it, but, uh, only if you can get it for a cheap price and, uh, some fairly cheap shipping. Uh, otherwise, it's just not really worth it because of uh, how small it is. But it's still really fun, and if you have the other weapons, you can combine them and go, yay. So, um, I recommend it for that, but on its own, it's kind of a, a little bit of a letdown. So, uh, you can check out a small photo gallery for this at uh, flickr.com slash photo slash shuken shinobi. And, of course, check out the blog at shuken shinobi.wordpress.com for all the latest news, updates, and release dates. Um, and please check out our podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles, where we cover all Toku news in the craziest way possible at shukenshobi.podbean.com. And subscribe via iTunes or the RSS feed. So uh, take care and have a great one.